day four, Fort Worth, Texas. We have a lot going on today as well as a top secret mission. Jared won't be here. He's already out on the water with the local agency taking care of that. Huge implications possibly. Now, in regards to everything else going on today, we still have our competition, but stay tuned as we don't know what Jared's mission is gonna turn up. Okay, so you're just gonna come come back. Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll go with you. Okay, all right, cool. All right, later. All right, bye. Ten four. We are halting what we are doing. Jacob and I are gonna suit up, and we will go dive on those items to check them out. So, Adam. So, I just found out. Jared just found out. Come here. So there's supposed to be four cars in here. Okay. However, we just got word from Tammy and Dennis. You guys know who they are? Team Waters? Yeah. Waters, yeah. Or like one of the most prolific sonaring search people yes. in the industry. Uh, they've cleared this entire lake. They found those cars and they're no longer here. Okay. So, unfortunately, that throws a wrench in everything we're doing. So that means no competition here. And it's kind of like on the fly to start something else. We didn't know this until just now. Gotcha. Um, there's, so we have cadaver dogs that hit here. Really? Yeah. Three times in the same spot. So I'm gonna dive on these two little items Jared scanned. There's supposed to be a car. It's not, there's no car over there, but there's two items. They're like ones like the size of a rock, but just to rule it out, because Buddy is asking to do it, I'm going to dive just to rule it out. But other than that, there's nothing here to do. Gotcha. Okay. Um, right. Sorry for wasting your guys' time. No, you're um, good. Man. Yeah, it's all good. But at least we know now, instead yeah, of halfway right, through yeah, the competition, yeah, yeah, yeah. or two hours, three hours into the competition of sonaring, and yeah. you know. So does this mean that the top prize money is just split equally? How does that work? Um, that's up to that that, that that that's up to who owns the wallet. Is there a tiebreaker. So uh, we'll, we'll we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. So right now there's a tie between who? Nug and Jacob. Nug and Jacob. So we'll figure out some type of tiebreaker. All right, so we were hoping for more than what I found, but I did find something, okay. en enough so that we actually need to put hands on it to see. Uh, I don't know how much we've said, like, I don't think we've, how much have you said to nothing. the audience? Nothing. Okay. So let's go put hands on them first, and then we'll be able to identify if we can share information, if something's gonna break big open today. Okay. Perfect, I'll get going to sit it up right now and get in the water. Okay, sounds good. Thirty-five is where it's at. Nice. All right, so I got the grappling hook on here for you guys. Okay. It's at uh, thirty-two feet is where right. it's at. All right. And if I bounce the grappling hook, see the grappling hook right there, Josh. So see my little shiny object here. Yes. It's right like at the back of the car. So nailed it first try. <laughs> That was my throw. Yeah. There's gators in here? I don't think there's gators in this one. Right hey, when we're done, here's your fishing spot right here. Hi, Jared. What's up, buddy? Yeah. Yeah, yeah bring it front of yeah, you. Whenever you're ready, sir. Whenever you're ready. Let's go. Can I get them going down on the screen? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, 
Yeah, right now at this water line, you're at 30, 32 to 33 feet is where the car is at. And the fish are, uh, a lot of the big ones are hanging out about 25 feet right now. Doug and Jacob are down on the vehicle. Yeah. So I went around the car, I pulled the hood out, or the, the trunk, checked inside the trunk as far as I could. The whole door just, I mean, the whole trunk just came open. Um, felt for a license plate, didn't find one. Yeah, whatever. So, yeah, you can see him uh, right there on the bottom. Just getting ready to push off. And there he is. Welcome back. Empty hands. I'm turn that off so they can't come here. Whoa, Don't bud. Go down. Go down. Go down. Thanks for not drowning. Equal is very deteriorated. No front end on it. But the top side has been ripped off. Uh. No plates. Trunk is open. Trunk is clear. Inside of the vehicle is clear. Everything is insanely deteriorated, so much so that I cannot even identify the vehicle. Same Paula. I could see the uh, emblem on my scope here. I would say it is at least a 70s vehicle. No newer. Uh, possibly 60s. Uh, no back seat. That's it. I did my best. I got in the vehicle. I opened the driver's side vehicle. A driver's side door. Yeah, you did. <laughs> I hit the door. I'm like, oh, okay. I got in it. I felt everything on the floorboard, underneath the seats, on the seats, back seat, nothing. Like, isn't it nice when it's sitting on like, like on a rock shelf? It's, there's like, yeah, there. Uh, was Jacob and I were digging out the front bumper for to try to access what we thought was going to be the front plate. I did end up going back and ripping it off. It's just some type of weird plate that the bumper had on it, like it's two separate metals separating in themselves. Uh, so that's not. It wasn't it. Yeah, it wasn't I was plate. looking at that, but I was like, because I, I pulled it off in pieces and. There was, there's just nothing to it. And I kept doing that around the whole front of the bumper. Okay. I was able to dig this out of the trunk. Hey! I mean, I didn't even see that. I don't know. This was up behind where the passenger sides, I mean, the back seat would be. So, I mean, it's a bottle that's, I don't know, at least 60 years old, probably. Wow. But that's it. I tried ripping the steering wheel out. Yeah, you I did. got it like halfway. <laughs> uh, but it's just something just wouldn't break free and I'm low on air so I didn't want to waste too much. You're good. Right. Yep. Uh, I'll pull one of you guys over and the other one and as we're separated I'll, I'll go. Uh, it's probably better for Jacob because I'm at 300. So where's this other spot at? Right so, in the cove right here. So yeah. if I just hang on we'll be okay? Yeah but hold on at the front so yeah. I'll have. Okay. Almost looks like it's just a pass through something or other, like, almost like a cage of some sort. I'm not sure. Like lobster so, or a, so, not a lobster, but a uh... yeah. I mean, here's my grappling hook. It's the same height as the grappling hook. There's your fins right there. So grappling hook is within a foot from it. See it right here. Yep. So just go down, touch it, and see what it is. Yeah. 
look at there's two of them that are identical out here. I mean, if it's a refrigerator, it's four feet long. Like, whatever it is, he's interested in it. There's a whole bunch of bottles in there, that's it. Bottles in it? Yeah, it's just a, uh, it's just like a, a, a square box. Like a shot one. Like off a boat? Yeah, no, it's just a, just like a concrete square box. Like, that was all the stuff that was in it. Yeah, huh? Yeah. Do you want to check your second one? You can. I'm standing on it right now. Is there a top to it or anything? No, it's just it's just an opening, yeah. just a square box, and it had all that stuff in it. Huh. All right, well, let me put you on the second one. You said concrete though. Yeah, concrete. It's, yeah, it's concrete. Yeah. Hold that. All right, let me see uh, where that second one is. It's not that far. The second one's like almost right over here. Just kind of wade that direction, see if you can kind of relate it. Same thing, but this one on the outer part of it has like a, a little pipe sticking out of it. But it's as long as I am, I can lay down in the middle of it. But there was absolutely nothing in that one, and it's concrete bottom. So, huh? All right. Now what we know, at least I mean, at least we know what we found on sonar. Unfortunately, it doesn't contain what we're looking for, but it's. I want to know what those... You got to get in the water to know. I want to know what those big hand-sized snail looking things that are really slimy are. It's on the side of that concrete. I was like, ew, what is that? And I poked it and it moved. Oh, it's alive? Are you able to hear all that? Yeah. Kim, were you able to hear all that? Yeah. So those fossils on the shore aren't, aren't ancient. They're recent. Yeah, probably. We're just going around the corner. You want to just hold on? Jacob? That's what I'm doing. I'm trying to get to you though. Well, that wraps up our super secret mission where we don't always find what it is that we're looking for. We do appreciate you being here, and if you've not already done so, do subscribe because it is free and it really helps us out. Other than that, 50, 60% of them aren't subscribed right now. Please, please hit the subscribe button. That's it, we'll see you on the next one. Later, later.